Yeah, what's going on, Soccer Family? This is your boy, JC. Hope everyone's doing well. And looking forward to Christmas, uh, most of you anyway. Uh, so today I'm going to do a live commentary slash uh, watch along, reacting to a debate discussion between Piers Morgan and a couple of uh, Muslim amigos to our famous Jihad GP, <laughs> Dr. Abdul Wahid. And uh, the reason why I want to make this video is because I recognize one of the panelists, um, uh, debaters in the, in the show. His name is Abdullah Andalusis, and I think he runs the Muslim Debate Initiative. Those guys hosted the debate between Michael Brown, do, sorry, Dr. Michael Brown and Zakir Hussein, uh, a debate that you can watch by clicking on the link notification, which is going to be popping right now. So yeah, I'm curious to uh, learn what he has to say about the Gaza conflict, and I suppose he's also there to support um, Dr. Abdul Wahid. So yeah, I really hope that the level of takia is kept to a bare minimum this time. So fingers crossed. Uh, so I haven't seen the video myself, but I, I, I can see that it has already over 700,000 views already. So let's see what the fuss is all about. Well, joining me now from Tel Aviv is Douglas Murray, the Associate Editor of the Spectator, the co-founder of the Muslim Debate Initiative, oh, Abdullah al Andalusi, and is. Dr. Isaldeen Abulayesh, uh, the Canadian-Palestinian medical doctor, who's joined right. me again in the studio. And great to see you. Thank you very much Thank indeed you. for joining me. Let me start with you, if I may, uh, Dr. Abulayesh. Um, when you saw that interview, what was your response to the fact that it's an NHS doctor working and living in this country who was saying those things? It's important. I am coming, you know. I heard it. I heard many of your interviews. Jihad, the word jihad. My presence here is jihad. Oh, here we go. And I'm coming to meet with you to advocate for my Palestinian people and for saving lives of the people is jihad. And this is the highest level of jihad. The no, resistance against someone who is invading you, this is the lowest level of jihad. But jihad, when I'm traveling, when I am going to any place, even someone who is dying because of far away from his home is a kind of jihad. When we are fasting, when we are walking, walk is a jihad. And that's the most Can't important. The guy we is selling need the key to already, understand you know? it, not to take it out of the context in the limited understanding of it. When I am invaded with a disease, COVID, what do I do? I have to resist the COVID. And that's ah. when we face cancer disease, any cancer. With we respect, you, you would not categorize October the 7th as a resistance. It's, ah. you know, I condemned the killing of any innocent human being. And for me, I was born, my daughters were killed before October 7th. Yes, I know. I was born as a Palestinian okay. refugee before October 7th. My parents were refugees before 48. Yeah. They were born in Palestine. So the history didn't start. The world is not created October 7th. That's what we need. And we are today. But I don't 12, think we, but it's, it's important. But let me, let doctor, me, with, let me, let me respect, continue. I don't think let me continue. Anyone, anyone but let me continue, speaks. please. Right. Today is the 12th of December. Today is the 12th of December where we have mm -hmm. more than 23 Palestinians thousand are killed more than 45,000 are severely wounded even the damage in the Gaza Strip as Borel mm. the representative of foreign affairs in the European Union it's far beyond the damage in Germany for six years in two months more than that so even you know well, how that's many... not true actually they, well, <laughs> no, 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 it was far he, he, they, he said that who said that Borel said that. The representative of the European Union, the Foreign Affairs. Yeah, but there are far more people died in World War II than have died. No, no, in the war. damage, the damage, the, the damage, structural damage, the destruction. Well, there certainly would have been more damage in Germany in World War II. He he yeah, mentioned exactly. that himself. Well, that's, you can that won't be oh factually God, accurate. But my here's my question. the situation, the uncle. It all comes back to me. I'm I'm very happy to platform anybody on this show, right to the point where they try and convince me that what happened on October the seventh was not an act of terror. Mm. And when people refuse to concede that point, I, I find it very hard then to have a civilized discussion. It's why I got so annoyed it's last night. hard to take them serious, Piers. Well, okay. well, can we, sorry, if I, so if I, if I, if I may interject, the may of my I, as or victimized. Well, I think it was victims. appalling. Yeah. And I think you, what do you, you consider your, it as terrorist? I, I do not consider Israel well, to be a terrorist organization. What well, the killing of my daughters. I, I think here's a question we have to ask ourselves, oh. which is, um, oh, since you have, uh, defended um, 
uh, Israel's operation in Gaza as self-defense. Um, well, no, no, and no, since no, you no, have... Don't misquote me. Don't misquote me. I've defended... You, so you're not saying it's part of their self-defense? No, let me clarify. OK. I've defended Israel's right to defend itself. Themselves, right. right. Yeah. In fact, they have a duty to its civilians after Hamas's repeated threats since October the 7th to repeat That's it. Right. To defend so, the civilians. So, so is the war in Gaza right, yeah. not self-defense? Or is it according... Let uh, me just clarify my position so you know. Clarify, please. However, I have repeatedly questioned the proportionality of Israel's response. He has. As indeed their greatest allies of But not the response itself. Now doing. But not the response itself, though. I think they're perfectly entitled to go and take okay, out Okay, so, so, so may, I, may I continue my question then? I'll yes. You. So since, as I okay. repeat, so <clears> since <throat> you have justified their response, maybe not how they've carried it out exactly, mm. but you justify their response as self-defence. Their, their right to defend themselves by right taking their, the terrorists their right to who the... committed that atrocity, yes. Okay. That's right. Uh, and and uh, presumably okay, you refused to call Israel, and you have refused when you've been asked to call Israel a terrorist... Uh, organization, government, or the idea of... Are they going to call Hamas a terrorist Hero, organization? Hero, 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 Hero. Oh, hang on. In uh, London, no, 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 no. Let me finish my question, please. Oh, no, I have a question for you. I must wait, clarify. Wait, wait, wait. Let me finish my question. You're making some okay, statements okay. are a bit misleading. Sure. Buy this in, country in, yeah. considers Hamas to be a prescribed terror group. That's they do right. not consider Israel to be a terrorist organization, Correcto. and nor do I. So that's the position. But, well, but, but I, I'm not asking yeah. you. The United States, the United States. I'm not asking you. I'm not asking the British government. I'm asking you, Piers. I don't think the British government isn't here. I do not think there are terrorist organizations. Now let me finish my question. Ask me if you think Hamas is a terrorist organization, For us to discuss. So considering that you have justified the operation that Israel initiated as self-defense, and that you refuse to call Israel uh, a, ter uh, a terrorist organization or a terrorist government, yeah. despite the fact that, that um, as many Palest almost as many Palestinians, uh, Gazans have died uh, under Israel's precision bombing, then as, the, as, as Londoners have died during the ho whole year of the Blitz under German bombing, which wasn't precision bombing, and yet you still say that, well, Israel isn't a terrorist organization. I think the question we should be asking is, shouldn't you, should you be suspended? Uh, is it responsible to have a person with your views mm. speaking to the public when you clearly refuse to uh, condemn that which needs to be condemned, which okay. was worse okay. than the London Blitz? Perfectly okay. okay. reasonable. Okay. Okay. With okay. precision okay. weapons. And the Germans let, let, let's hope you condemn Hamas, Perfectly reasonable though. question. Yes. And you've asked me it yeah. on my show. Yes. The, the fact you're here and able to ask that, I think, is evidence that I'm prepared to listen to people well, who will look me in the eye and ask me difficult questions. Well, you didn't know I was going to say that, but anyway, must, yes. <laughs> that's fine, but that's fine. You're perfectly entitled yeah, to it. Yeah. We believe in uncensored free speech here. Yeah. But let me ask All you right. the question, then, which I asked... You're not answering my question, but you haven't answered it. Well, I have. I said I don't think they're a terrorist organisation. Yeah, Despite yes. the fact that they've, they've killed almost as many yeah, Gazans as, as Germans you've did. You've asked me a question. If he condemns Hamas, I'm giving you blitz for have, one year I have non-precision bombs. I have given you an okay. unequivocal answer. Now, okay. let me ask he you has. if you can give me one. Yes. Do yeah, you go, believe go. Hamas are a terror organisation? Oh, here we go. Okay, and I'd like to ask you... Answer! answer. No, 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 just ask some answer. answer. Well, I, need, I need clarification. Well, this country... Now you need clarification. Are you the British government? No, I'm asking oh, you. To you. Okay, here so we I'm go. He's going to be doing a Michael a Jackson now, family. What does it be mean? Dancing now. No, you tell mean? me. I, I don't know. You ask oh, me a question. You ask me a question. You're playing ignorant now. No, I want, I want your definition. What, 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 you, what is a terror group? Oh. An act that commits acts of terror. A group that commits terrorist yeah. acts. As they did all the time. So one that commits terror attack. All right, fine. So define terror. Do you want to ask a question or not? I do, but I want your clarification. No, no. We all know what terror is. Please, please. No, no. We all know what terror is, bro. Come on now. We're going to go somewhere with this, right? Are you going to answer the question? Yes, once I get your definition. What's a terror attack? The definition is as is laid down in international law, which it's is committing an act of terror, terror, which is which is terrorism. Are you asking questions terrorism. you don't know the definition? Of? <laughs> well, why don't you tell me what you think? It is? I don't know. Yeah. You're asking the question. You have no idea know. what terrorism is. No, I want to, I want your, to answer <laughs> your question. <laughs> yeah, massacring 1,200 people That's on October terrorism. the 7th in the way Hamas did is an act of terror. Do so, you agree? So, so That's killing right. civilians is an act of terror. No. That's not what I said. Oh, so, so then killing oh, civilians is not an act of terror. That's scale is well, terrorism. Killing so, so so civilians is not an act of terror. You're terror. not going to answer. Let me bring no, it. No, 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 no,
Are we here just stuck there as a snapshot and to discuss it, or we want to discuss what after and what can be done? We do, in but actually, way? that's the most important. I think they're all important issues, but right now, because of what happened in the fallout from last night's show, I specifically mm -hmm. want to discuss the <laughs> definition of terrorism, Hamas. Yeah. And whether a British but doctor... Hamas is but you haven't finished Look at him, 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 let him, let him finish. I'm going to bring in our third... Let him finish. I'm going to bring in Douglas Morris, you're just sitting patiently here. Ah, Douglas Morris. Douglas, oh, go on, Douglas. Uh, first of all, what was your reaction to this interview right. with a, an NHS doctor last night on this show? OK. Well, uh, let me first of all say that uh, it's, it's necessary to clear quite a lot of things up because we've heard quite a lot of hogwash in the last few minutes. <laughs> Firstly, uh, your guest last night is a member of an extremist organization, Hizb Tahrir, which is banned in many countries, including in European countries. And it's wow, also banned in many Muslim countries. It's banned oh, really? in Pakistan, it's banned wow, in Egypt. And that's really because that. these Muslim governments recognize that it is an extremist group that mm -hmm. has a revolutionary ideology that wants to replace Ooh. government in, in Muslim Ooh. countries as, European as well as in they, as, they you know, finish. Germany. One European country is banned in um, Douglas Murray. I'm not going to let Sorry, you lie yeah. to the audience like you usually do. Just You're going to you. justify everything just you say on this show, you. Douglas Murray. <laughs> right? so I please, I just give me said one country Germany. That, it's not banned in Germany. I just said It's not banned Germany. in Germany. You're Germany, not listening. Not You're Check not it. listening. Listen, listen. Right. You're to, not to, listening. To the audience. Let me not Who's listening. Who's doing it for yourself? You know, His battalion in Germany, really are they banned weird. as an organisation? Look at that. Is this, can't condemn Hamas. Is this Mr. Al Andalusi? Can I just check? It I is. can't see you. It is, yeah. is that him? It is, it yeah. is, yeah. Okay. This is a guy, he's of no significance, but he's a guy who <laughs> I have seen in studios for years spouting extreme <laughs> Islamist rhetoric. Many years ago, he couldn't <laughs> condemn the killing of the journalist <laughs> Charlie Hebdo. Last oh, year, he wouldn't naughty. condemn the attempted murder of condemn. Salman Rushdie. Oh, now he oh, can't do this. Naughty, he naughty and I lose his test. But the let slander. me get on to the I question. I'm not going Prove to it. engage. Prove I'm not it. going Prove to engage in a fun please. fight with this yeah, speak, with this Islamist. Let me answer yeah. the question that Piers put to me let before you answer. try to interrupt again. Only if you don't yeah, show, let him show right. some manners. First of all, let him show answer, some manners. Right. First of all, I'm Use not going to keep being talked over by this Islamist blowhard. <laughs> let me speak. <laughs> first of all, <laughs> your first guest treated us to the first <laughs> bit of mouthwash this evening by claiming that the word jihad can mean absolutely anything. Nonsense. <laughs> Nonsense, yeah. The bearded member of Hizbut Tahir says calls for jihad on the streets Offensive. of London then yes. well, they are not calling for an inner personal struggle with the nature of the divine. Nothing. They are calling for violence. That's and right. Anyone who can't recognize that should yeah. be questioned about their own motives. Exacto. Secondly, Mundo. You, we've just been treated to a, a monologue about uh, casualty figures in Gaza. Where do these figures <laughs> come from? I'll tell you where they come from. They but come they from Hamas. It's quite uh, remarkable to me that two months uh, after the October the 7th massacre, the two selective. months after the October the 7th massacres, the yeah. Israelis still don't know the precise number of people murdered on October the 7th. There's wow. a reason for that. Because why? it from takes the time why, why? to work out from massacres the of that scale. The one of the wow. striking, wow. one of the striking you know, finish. I just don't know if either of your guests are going to allow me a word in. Because you are lying and trying to get the numbers of from Israel from the IDF, uh, which are not the limited. The limited. No, you will, you know, These you know are it's numbers. really interesting hearing Let somebody who presents, and call. As, uh, who presents themselves as a moderate being a spokesperson for Hamas. So let me continue. They are Hamas <laughs> figures. They are all provided by the ministries of Hamas, which is Hamas, mm -hmm. which is a prescribed terrorist organization. Yeah. If you want to reel off Hamas figures, then be my guest. But you are not able to mislead the viewers of Piers' show by quoting Hamas figures at his viewers as if they are holy I am not quoting. <laughs> Third, <laughs> the <laughs> to this <laughs> nation. We've been treated the third. The third. 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 Where do you think they get eyes. the figures from? Where where do you, you think they get all the figures from? Thirdly, thirdly, I will continue to speak if it kills you. Thirdly, <laughs> World War II. It yeah. is nonsense that yeah, what has been happening it. in Gaza has, as you said in this endless list of fallacies, that there has been more <laughs> bombing in Gaza, more deaths and destruction in Gaza <laughs> than during World War II. Do you, you know, know anything <laughs> about World War II? 
Do you know anything about World War Two? In Dresden alone, Douglas. take one well, German city. Take one German city. The destruction was on a scale totally dissimilar I'm taking to what London. you didn't have. Yeah, I'm taking yeah. London. I'm very, very interested. What you said. The I'm very of interested. The yeah, I will, once again, 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 I will finish this point because even if I don't see it, I'll be honest. I will finish the point I want to make. I will finish the point I want to make. Let me ask Douglas one question. Douglas, specifically about the doctor. It is very important for your viewers to hear the following definition. The definition of terrorism is the deliberate targeting of innocent civilians. civilians. That is what Hamas specializes in. That's that right. is what Hamas did and on that's October what is happening the 7th. Correct. Also. Is, what Israel is, is what Israel is doing terrorism? No, for the yep. following reason. And Why? again, you can lie about this if you want, but do <laughs> not expect not to be challenged about it. What the <laughs> IDF is doing is the yeah. same manner of war as the British Army, the American Army, and all other armies in the civilized world. They okay. target terrorists like yep. Hamas mm -hmm. and there are civilian casualties. Yes, there are. But because it is not the aim of the IDF any more than it is of the British or American army armies to target mm. civilians. And anyone yeah. who pretends otherwise is lying to the public watching. <laughs> well, Douglas, <laughs> well, final question that's... before I go back to the, oh, to the peace. video here. And like... it's specifically about the doctor that was on last night. Yeah, whether yeah, he yeah. should be allowed to continue practicing as a GP when Jihad he identifies GP. Hamas as a resistance group, wouldn't yeah. say that it committed an act of terror, said he didn't even believe that there had been a massacre uh, and was also quite blatantly homophobic, he, he amongst other things. Let me ask Douglas. I'm asking Douglas. The medical association. I'm asking Douglas. The medical association. I'm asking Douglas. 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 Well, you don't seem to be much of an impartial observer of this, I have to say myself. I thought, I thought slightly highly of you before you started ranting as much as Mr. Al Andalusi this evening. Um, <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what, okay. I, what I thought of it, Piers. I think I like our country has had enough of people like your guest last night. Yeah. It's not just he's in NHS. Why is he in Britain? Get Why do you out. allow people in Britain to try to overthrow the state yeah. who praise terrorism yeah. Members of extremists. What what has Britain got from this guy exactly? Exactly. What benefits Why have we you got keep this guy here? Yeah. What I benefits? Mean, I wouldn't Zero. want to be an NHS patient going to him. I don't know if any <laughs> Jews would particularly want to in Britain. All I don't Christians. know if very many innocent people would want to go to this doctor. But That's my right. question is not is not just should he yeah. be able to practice. I want to know why our country of Britain has been such a soft touch for decades mm. that we have Hamas leaders. Terrorist yeah. spokespeople, Islamist Ooh. sympathizers like your guest, Mr. Al Andalusi, and now <laughs> NHS doctors who are members of, of, of groups like Hizbut Tahir that stand okay. on the streets of London, call for jihad, call for Ooh. Muslim armies to arise. I don't think our country benefits anything from these people. Nothing. I think people like that should leave. We have yes. no need of them. Deport .com. Douglas Murray, bye -bye. thank you very much Goodbye. for joining me. I appreciate it. Let's come back to, to you, gentlemen. Uh, right, to defend wrap yourselves. Up. Let me stop with you, uh, <laughs> Dr. Abelosh. Look, passions run high here on both sides. I get that. But there have to be certain points of agreement, don't there? And one of the things that I find <laughs> very hard to deal with, like I said at the start of this debate, is when people simply won't accept what we all saw with our own eyes because Hamas mm. put it out on their own videos. They will deny it. To their own social media all the time. platforms. Mm. What happened October the 7th was a terror attack. It Can was. we not agree that? Answer. I'm coming here as a Palestinian. Oh, yes. he's dancing now. I am not belonging to any faction. So he's not going to answer. And Hamas is not representing the Palestinian people. We have to understand it. Mm. It's part of the Palestinian people. It was elected with the free democratic election in 2006. Since that time, we don't have any election. We look forward to have election, and mm. we have to respect the election of the people and the choice of the people. Uh -huh. If you, so in UK, tomorrow to elect Hamas. any right fanatic group, what do you think the other people will say to you? If they okay, said, okay, no, we are, they are terrorists or they are not accepted, they are part of the Palestinian people, 
whether we accept or not, we need to have a new leadership to have a new election, and then it's our choice to, to yeah. do it. What is I happening? As I said it clearly, before October 7, October 7, after October 7, will never lead to any positive way. It only aggravates bloodshed, more animosity, more pain, more suffering, and Get more extremism. I think, don't, I, think, I think you may be right. And this has yeah. been my concern about the, in my view, increasingly disproportionate response by Israel, is it may have the opposite effect to what they want. It may actually lead to more radicalism, uh, destroying mm. most of Gaza seems to be what the mission statement is now. Mm -hmm. I don't see how that helps the situation at all. But I yeah, do understand either. why they want to try and eliminate Hamas. And that's the conundrum. Mm -hmm. Well, I'd like to clarify first. Who's like Hamas? Um, Islam like Hamas. very clearly said, and there's no difference of opinion on this for 1,300 years or, or even more, that um, <laughs> it is impermissible in whatever situation to target women, children, elderly, poor, non combatants not... Uh, uh, not reservist in an army. So uh, even the... So why are they uh, hiding in schools and hospitals? Hamas fighters, which were interviewed on, uh, on Israeli TV, it was, the broadcast was interviewed, uh, the interview, mm -hmm. uh, they said the same thing, that it is, pro it is prohibited. Mm. The, the issue of October the 7th is that there's a lot, there's a big question mark regarding um, what exactly happened. I no, completely no. accept... Let me finish. What, what do I mean by this? I completely yeah. accept the that there said. was... Um, uh, Israelis were killed who were not combatants. Okay. It is okay. reprehensible in Islamic law. And likewise, mm -hmm. is it reprehensible Doubtful. that uh, non-combatants uh, on the Palestinian side are killed, like, for example, um, an eight-year-old, Mohammed El Ghul, mm -hmm. and, uh, and uh, others in West Bank who were shot by an Israeli soldier. But my point is this, right? And here's, mm -hmm. here's the issue, which is Michael Clark, who advises, you might see him on Sky News uh, talking about Ukraine war. He's a military advisor yeah. oh, no. uh, on Channel, and also Channel 4. He described, he said that um, Hamas, the, the, the operation, they actually lost control of the operation and it turned into a spontaneous terror attack. I'm quoting him verbatim. I don't here. believe a word of that. Well, well, this is what he says as an, as I'm an expert. You my opinion. Yeah, I, I know what, I'm, I'm giving you an expert opinion. It was clearly planned. Planned. Like, planned. Like, planned. like I said, the level well, of Akiya to be down, but it was just Akiya all, all over the place. This guy just... Uh, in, they did. In, in, where? Where did Hamas... The, did you know that quote? You see no Hamas people that day gloating about it. Are um, you watching the videos? Yes, yeah. I did. Did you okay. watch that Hamas spokesman? You, know, you quoted that Hamas spokesman on TV. Yeah. Did you see what he said about the attack? He said that they had, there was no order to, to target civilians. What, what many... The, well, we know the, they did. A so, general, so, a general did, consensus did. of all this, of analysts have shown okay. that there was looters that came out of Gaza who were not part right. of Hamas. So my simple who question... Caused the, the, this, so my simple and they, question... And, and they they ask it, please. My well, simple question is this. Was it a terror attack? Answer. Anyone who killed civilians yeah, should be condemned. It's a terror attack. It's a terror. Yes or no? Anyone who kills civilians is, is, is a criminal. Was it a terror, attack? a terror attack? What? October the 7th. And we now asked you, you said, well, oh, define the terror attack. You target You've civilians, You've had the definition right? from Yes, okay. You target civilians, right? So then I, I want to ask... Oh, I'll answer that question. No, 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 no. Answer the question, just, bro. Just for sake of consistency. Look at when them, the bro. British army Look targeted Islamists. German civilians in World War II, was that terror? No, because they were responding to, to, to Nazi to Germany's attempt to destroy the world. So right. you're saying you that... understand so, the moral so difference. That, so you're saying that... Uh, because of who they were fighting, it's not a terror attack to kill to target civilians. Are you is, a, that, look, is that what you're saying? We have to Are you going to condemn Hamas? That, yes or no, I'm bro? I'm saying you. there's no moral equivalence between us defending ourselves against Nazi Germany, who mm. committed a Holocaust that killed... In fact, they killed 12 million did, people. Did Britain well, launch war on Germany because of the that. Jews? Huh? Look did Britain that. declare war on Germany because of, for the sake of Jews? Britain declared war on Germany. Did Winston Churchill, in Britain, his ultimatum oh, to look, Hitler, look, did he say, Winston stop Churchill persecuting Jews? Do you know why? Because at that time, anti-Semitism was so rife right. that people didn't care about the plight of the really? Jews. It was only afterwards, after they discovered the death camps and so on and so forth. Mm. Don't pretend that the Allies launched this war of, of, for the sake of, of Jews. I didn't anti say that. Anti -Semitism we only discovered the full horror then. of the concentration that camps towards argument. the end of the yeah, war. I'm only asking, say, it's, it's, we didn't say about democracy and freedom. And, right. the and guess the what? Idea is any and what moral are the Palestinians are doing? On. What are the Palestinians doing? Listen, We've seen the Palestinians the idea is any moral equivalence yeah. is ridiculous. But let me come back yeah. one more time before we finish. Okay, listen, you won't answer, please. I can pay you any money. Was what happened on October the 7th a terror attack? Answer. 
I'm, I'm, and I'm telling you okay. that if you refuse okay. to call oh. the, the bombing, okay. the bombing of, oh, right. of Dresden as you terror fraud. attacks, I tried. then I why... You, try, you did try, Piers. You did try, try with these Islamists, but it's difficult to get those Islamists to condemn Hamas. Let's join each other in condemning bombs, including the IDF. I do not believe IDF is a terrorist. Then that's being hypocritical. No, That's being hypocritical. That's your view. I'm happy to condemn this. All this is a terror attack. Yeah, you're not, though, you have to be consistent in this. Way, Final man. word to you. Yeah, yeah, Iblis. Final word. You know, yesterday I was well, listening doctor, I like suit. to the chief of Mossad and the chief of uh, Shembet. Mm. And he said it's because of the failure of diplomatic and political issues. This is important. And there was negligence. And uh, what can we do now? And that's the most important as a medical yeah. doctor. We need to stop the bloodshed, to go to serious negotiations. You need to get rid of to Hamas. Mm. What happened October 7 as an opportunity to, to bridge the gap election, between Palestinians and Israelis and not to repeat it okay. again yeah. and again? Like the answer, so, so I'm, I'm going to end there. Thank you. 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 I don't think British GPs should be coming on national television in this country and breaking the law by publicly supporting and he, endorsing he a terror he, group. Yeah, which is, by the way, yeah, when did he break the it's law? a criminal offence to support a terror group in this it country. Is. Yeah, of course. It is. He did that last night. By what? He did. When did he By saying they were resistance, not a terror group. He yeah, was talking about resistance. justify what they did. He was talking did. about Palestinians in general. He no. was talking about Palestinians. He was talking about Hamas. Hamas. He, was about, he, was he didn't about watch Hamas. the interview. Go back and well, watch it. For the yeah, police watch it. Described it. He, yes, he broke <laughs> the <Palestinians. laughs> He broke the law. The law. He broke, he broke the law. All rights for That's it. He broke the law. He should be deported. He should be removed from the practice. I'm going to leave it there. Leave it there. Uh, Palestine. Again, thanks to Douglas Murray. Well, fraud. To Dr. Bilal. Good to see you again. Thank, thank you very much. Abdullah Al Andalusi. Thank you very much. Nice one. Nice one. Nice one. Peace. So there you have it, ladies and gentle beans. Typical Islamists always playing the victims and always refusing to call Hamas a terrorist organization. And this is because of the hatred towards the Jews. Uh, I suppose the good thing about this, uh, about them appearing on, on, on live television or shows like Piers Morgan, is that it makes the job for the MI5 so much easier because now they can identify who they are. So that's it family, take care. Make sure you give this video a like and a share and I'll see you next time.